Hi, I'm making red oil stew with scent leaves and tomatoes. Wow. If you want to know how I prepare this too, let's go to my kitchen so we can prepare it together. Let's go, guys. Hi guys, welcome to Cook with Ijama. It's your babe EJ. Today I'm making red oil stew with fresh tomato, paprika, shrombe, onions, ginger and garlic, red oil, seasoning cube and scent leaf and thyme and basilicon. Okay, I have my meat, tripe and red beef, red meat, sorry. So first of all, I added onions and thyme then the next thing i'm going to add is basilicon yeah because i'm making this local scent leaf red oil stew so i need basilicon as well so i added salt okay for taste the next thing i'm going to add is ginger and garlic okay so spicy of the meat then i added my seasoning Hunger seasoning with Maggi seasoning. Okay, so now I've put up the meat on the burner so it can be cooked. Then I can cut my tomatoes into pieces. Okay, so you can see the way I chop the tomatoes. Okay, I'm not going to grind the tomatoes, I chopped it. So I just showed you how I did it, and my onions, I slice this as well. So after cutting the onions and shallot onions as well, I'm going to blend everything together, you know. So I'm going to use my grater blender to grate it. I don't want it to blend like where I'm blending my tomatoes so I cannot see the seed. You no, know? I want it to be, you know. I want to be seeing all the stuff together okay so you can see I'll use this grater and grate it so it cannot you know break so much so after that I'll check on the meat so you can see the meat is on the burner cooking so yeah the meat is already done so the next thing I'm going to do is to fry it because I want to fry the meat the tripe and the muzzle red beef okay red meat so that's it so after frying it i'm going to start frying the stew so you can see how i fry the meat okay i didn't allow it to dry so much because I'm still going to add it into the stew as well. So that the tripe, you know, this is a muzzle meat. So you need it to be soft. So I'm going to add it into the stew again. And, you know, fry everything. So here, I added the red oil because I'm making the stew now. I added the red oil. I covered it. Okay. So that the smoke will not fool the house, you know. So I added the salt to reduce the smoke as well. So after that, I added the oil onions. You know, you can see my onions and I fried the onions. Yeah, so that the scent can come out. The aroma can come out. Okay. So guys, then yeah, the onions is done. I added the bell pepper okay I added the bell pepper and so after adding the bell pepper onions and garlic the one I created then I added the fresh tomatoes you know you can see the fresh tomatoes and I'm going to stir everything together okay so just stir it allow it to cook in a minute before adding your meat so you can see 
I added the meat to the what I fried. So I'm going to mix everything together and leave it to cook about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I added the set leaf. You can see the set leaf. Then I stir, stir, stir. Then after that, I added the fresh onions, rosemary as well, and seasoning cube. Yes. So you can see the seasoning cube. I added two. Okay. Then added curry powder. Then stir everything together. I didn't fry rosemary, curry, and all that. No. I added it when after frying the tomatoes. Okay. So remember, we are making local stew. So here is my bouillon chicken bouillon i added it into it as well so uh, so that these two will be more tasty okay so like i was saying the next thing i added is the meat stock yes the meat stock i didn't add everything i added to my taste if that one is not enough i'll add more but i think the one i added is okay so i leave the stew to cook about 10 minutes then i came back to turn everything you can see that the stew is already done the stew is okay the rice is beside the table asking where is my neighbor you know <laughs> So that's the stew, guys. That is my red oil stew with scent leaf. Guys, how did you see that? So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye.